We are the Euglena. We are part of the Protist Kingdom. What does that mean? The Protist Kingdom is where all the eukaryotes go when they have no one quite like them. You see, any eukaryote who is not an animal, plant, or fungi is classified as a protist. Wow, I had no idea. I wonder what else I don't know about myself. Did you know that we are autotrophs? A what? An autotroph. If you're an autotroph, then that means that you can make your own food. We can use energy from the sun to fuel ourselves. We can thank our chloroplasts for that. That's also why we're green. But I eat dinner every night. Why don't I just make my own food? Well, at night, there's no sun, so you can't. Also, some Euglena have rare access to sunlight. But you did just bring up a good point. We're not just autotrophs, we're heterotrophs too. We normally eat algae to give us energy. We absorb the algae through our cell membrane. That's why scientists classify us as mixotrophs. Half autotroph, half heterotroph. I had no idea. What else can I learn? We are complicated organisms, but I will tell you the few important things. There's the nucleolus and the nucleus, the quote-unquote brain of the cell. There's a contractile vacuole, which regulates the amount of water in the cell. There's a chloroplast. The chloroplast uses the sun's energy to create our own. And finally, not- there's the flagellum. It, allo- it allows us to move around more easily. We have more organelles, though, right? Of course. It would just take a while to describe every single one. We have the same base organelles as most eukaryotes. I can't believe I didn't know this before. Tell me more. We are more important than you think a single-celled organism could be. We reduce carbon dioxide levels much more effectively than plants, which helps global warming. We also have many nutrients that benefit humans. Companies want to use us in their products for this exact reason. Another thing we can do is help humans tell if a body of water is polluted. As previously mentioned, we thrive on algae, and algae is present when nitrogen is. That is a sign of pollution. I didn't know that we were so important, but how are there so many of us? Great question. Let me explain. We go through what is called binary fission, a form of asexual reproduction. We copy our genetic material and divide into two separate bodies. We divide from the front to the back ending with the flagellum. Wow, that's so cool. I have one more question. Where are we? I guess we were so caught up in our conversation that we got lost. Don't worry, we are always found in fresh or salt water. I'm sure we are not so far from home. Can I see some more pictures? Of course. Here is a picture of Euglena swimming. Here is a clearer picture of a single Euglena. And finally, here is a picture of a labeled Euglena, so you know what's what. Let's end with one more fun fact. Did you know? Euglena actually have two flagella, one long one and one short one. Thanks for watching. We hope you learned a lot.